you always start our ears after you've obviously uh, put that um, air parting line in there. Learning from the expert, that. it's not every day you get to meet one of Sheffield's most famous artists. Pete McKee was giving up his time to show young cancer patients how to draw. We're quite privileged in Sheffield to have, have this unit and you know it's, it's nice to be able to do something and support that. I lost my mum to cancer when I was young and so cancer itself plays a big part in my life and so if I can somehow contribute and make other people's lives that little bit more easier just on the eye and just bring a little bit of sunshine into to lives and stuff just simply through art, that's great. No stranger to hospitals himself, Pete knows how art can be a great distraction from the often gruelling treatment patients have to undergo. We've been doing like the different, like the younger sort of cartoons and then the older ones as well and learning all the different face shapes and everything. I've had real problems uh, using my hands again. Um, a lot of the times I couldn't, I was really struggling to move my fingers the way I wanted them to go. So yeah, just being able to draw however I wanted, it really helped. 270 young people were diagnosed with cancer in Yorkshire last year. Pete is an ambassador for the Teenage Cancer Trust, a charity which funds this unit at Sheffield's Western Park Hospital. To be with people that get it, like everyone here is going through very similar things. You can talk about the things that you can't talk about with your normal friends. Um, so I think that's quite special, yeah. I asked them in the morning how many of them uh, Fancy themselves as artists and not one person put their hand up. So, <laughs> But really, they were just kidding me because they were great. The work they've done is fantastic. I've got a bit of a challenge on my hands now with them. <laughs> Pete McKee has raised nearly £137,000 for the Teenage Cancer Trust from artwork and exhibitions. But for him, the reward for spending time with these young people today was simply priceless. Ian White, BBC Look North, Sheffield. Oh, well done, Pete. Yeah. He does some good work. Yeah, he? what a nice and very talented bloke. Uh, 